Hello again. I wasn't planning on making a new video that quickly, but things just happen. Uh, today I was driving by and popped into Maidenhead Aquatics in Dobby's Garden Center, and I have discovered two new plant species. So I'm going to talk today about plants. Um, this tank is pretty new. It's only one month old. And um, it's quite low energy tank, which means that the lights aren't particularly strong and the plants that you see growing there have low demands when it comes to light or nutrients. So they should be relatively easy. Um, uh, as I cycle this tank, I do 30% water changes on a weekly basis. It received three so far. And I do add a fertilizer, Seacombs Flourish, on a weekly basis. But that's about it. Uh, lights are from Aquel. Leddy Slim Lights. 5 watt each. Not much. Uh, Eheim Pickup Filter. And in the corner there is Aquel Smart Heater. But you can't see it because it's obstructed by the filter. Right, so let's get to plants. So the centerpiece, a piece of bogwood, and forgive me um, ocean rock, but it's only there to weigh the bogwood down. The plant you see, the centerpiece, is actually a type of Hygrophila. Hygrophila pinatifida. Uh, a lot of aquascapers nowadays use that plant. It spreads through shoots, attaches itself to everything readily, and you can see the roots, the white roots. It's a very attractive plant. It has olive stems. Underneath the, la the plant is a little bit burgundy in color, and from above, very lush green. So, very attractive plant. Much quicker growing than Java fern or anything else from a fern family. So this is the first time I've got this plant in my tank and I'm really impressed. Plant number two. A new species of Amazon swords. Um, this one is supposed to be a dwarf species, so it's not going to grow very tall. Maybe it is a little bit too short for a background, but we'll see. It's supposedly only to reach 20 centimeters in height, but I'll give it some time. Colors on it are spectacular. Red, black, and green melting together. A full name, Echinodorus Hadai Red Pearl. Um, comes from Indonesia, requires moderate lighting. It does require good substrate, but if you're planting it in plain gravel as I did, just put maybe a root tub underneath because it relies heavily on feeding through the roots. And lastly, the third species, and so far this is my favorite. Um, it is a bit of a mouthful. I will put all the names, Latin names in the description. And my pronunciation might not be correct, but uh, it is Schismatoglottis pretoi. Fairly new plant from Philippines. Uh, spreads through shoots. Uh, leaves, I think you agree that they do resemble Anubius petite. Very dark green, very nicely contrasting with other plants in the background. Um, and this plant grows much faster than Anubius and can be planted in the substrate or on ornaments like bogwood or rocks. It only grows to about 15 centimeters in height, so in big tanks, foreground. And obviously, mid-ground in this tank should be a good placement. So, um, well, I hope I encouraged you to get these plants because they're really, really nice. Um, really nice colors. Uh, just to let you know, 
three pots of these plants that Maiden had were only 11 pounds. So not a bad find. Um, if you ever would like to meet in person and have a fishy chat, please come and join us at High Bank Community Center where Robin Hood Aquarius Society meets uh, every second Monday of the month. And actually, on the 9th of March, I will be giving a talk on culturing Daphnia in and outdoors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, give it a thumbs up, and I'll speak to you soon.